Guys, so it's Josh here from Vans and I'm just putting together this preview video walk around for you on this Ford Ranger Limited. Now, what I tend to do in these videos is just a general preview of the interior, the exterior and the spec on the vehicle. If you do get the end of the video and it looks like the sort of thing you're looking for, then just let us know and we'll then put together a further in-depth video walkthrough that will cover any and all imperfections in a bit more detail for you. So let's jump in and tell you a little bit more about the truck. Now, this one's a 2017 on a 17 plate. It's a Ford Ranger Limited, okay? Uh, finished in sea gray, and it's a 2.2 litre diesel en engine. Um, now, with it being the Limited, it comes with lots of nice bits of spec on here. It's a nice low mileage example, around 43, 44,000 miles. Four services on record. It was last service at 42,000 miles, and it's no VAT example, so a nice little rear no VAT fine for you. So, let's jump in and start to go around the truck. Now, straight into your front end, it does benefit from having front parking sensors on this model. Now, as standard, they come with the 17-inch uh, limited alloy wheels. By the looks of things, you've got Goodyear Wrangler tyres, both on this side. As standard, it'll come with the, the side step. Of course, you've got all your chrome details, chrome grille, wing mirrors, handles, um, rear bumper, etc. Coming around your rear then, so it does benefit from a full tow bar and electrics, okay? I can see that it's got a reverse camera there, which is also a nice little bit to have on these limiteds. Not all of them have them. You've got reverse parking sensors as well, and you do have a sort of hydraulic lift up. It's just quite a hard with one hand. <laughs> Probably looking at my nose there. So, um, so you've got a little hydraulic lift up mountain top uh, cover there as well. So it's that sort of checker finish. You've got little bars here if you did want to put any cross members across. But um, as you can see, it's a nice little nice little finish on the on the back of one of these trucks again a nice little bit that i didn't know about is add these upgraded these are aftermarket but they sort of hydraulic struts on either side which real soften the blow because these are heavy tailgates so again nice little bit of spec to add on there now it does have the power source in the back you'll see on the left there and all your tab i'm sure you'll agree looking in really nice condition carrying on then on your near side so i can confirm you've got good your wrangler tires all matching all the way around and then we're back around to your front end. Now, body work wise, it's all looking in really nice condition, in fairness. Well, like I said at the beginning, I'll go into a further in depth video walk around if it looks like the sort of thing you're looking for. Okay, jumping into your interior then. So, with it being the Limited, it does benefit from uh, full black leather interior, okay? So, as you can see, that's all looking in nice condition there. It'll come with a set of mats and everything as well, so not to worry about that. And I'll touch on the spec of the driver's side shortly. As we jump into the back then, so all your carpet, as you can see, is still looking in really nice condition. You've got a 12 volt charging socket at the back there, uh, center pull down for your armrests and cup holders. And then all your back seats are looking like they haven't even been sat in, I gotta say. All your headlining is looking in nice condition as well. Over to this side then. All looking in nice condition as well. And then a quick little view of the front of the truck ready to get into it. So, what I tend to do with this part of the video is just jump in and give you a quick fire of the spec on the vehicle. So, before we get in, you've got a power uh, electric windows all found here. Okay, you've got power adjustable and power folding wing mirrors as well as fully automatic lighting. Now, you do have an electric adjustable driver's seat with a couple of different options just found there, okay? And then there's a view of all your driver's seat. Now, let's jump in. So, we're currently on 43,790 miles. As you can see, starts on the button, runs and drives very well, and there's no warning lights present, okay? Have, uh, Let's turn that down to carry on this video. Okay, now, in terms of your spec, so you've got a full uh, multifunctional steering wheel. On the right-hand side, hang on, let me just put this steering wheel up. There we go. On the right-hand side is how you navigate through your interactive dashboard. So display mode, trip computer, fuel economy, and driver assist settings, okay? Just found you is your cruise control and speed limiter settings. And on the left-hand side is your entertainment, navigation, and phone settings. You do have some more media functions here, including your hands-free and your voice command. Moving on to your centre console then, okay? So it does benefit from having full um, Apple CarPlay compatibility. So it's a Sync 3 system. So it's fully touchscreen. It comes with fully DAB radio, uh, FM, AM radio, full Bluetooth medium phone connectivity. You've got a digital climate control display here and you have integrated Ford sat-nav as well, okay? Now you can use this, the sat-nav on your Apple CarPlay and things as well, but it's always good to know that you've got that should you have a different device. Um, popping on down to your climate and comfort settings as well. So with it being the limited, it does benefit from having heated seats, driver and passenger, the all important air conditioning. You have fully automatic climate control that will regulate the temperature. 
electric heated windscreen, rear heated screen, and loads of other different options that you can see to play with there. Two 12 volt sockets for charging, two USB ports just down there. It's a six speed manual transmission, of course. You have your four, uh, four wheel drive settings found there, and then you've got automatic stop start, hill descent assist, traction control, and your front and rear parking sensor options. There's a view of your reverse cam as well. Apart from that, a couple of bits of storage dotted about, glove box, um, little uh, sunglass holder and things there. So as you can see, very nice clean example of one of these trucks. So let us know your thoughts. Anything further I can do to help, just give us a shout and I'll be more than happy to cover in a further video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.